Welcome to another Unreal Foos tutorial. Today's lesson is defense. And this will be the first video that I do on defense, but uh, I have plans to do uh, more tutorials on defense, specifically uh, focusing on five bar defense, goalie defense, defensive zones. But before I can get to that point, um, I feel it's important to talk about some general concepts uh, about defense and once I lay uh, once I lay that uh, that framework then it will make it easier to describe some of the other uh, defensive strategies and uh, and we'll have some common uh, terminology and you'll understand what I'm talking about and that, that way I don't need to keep explaining it on, on, on every tutorial okay let me describe a few common terms the first one is a standard defense and a standard defense is uh, what you see here uh, if you were to put the goalie rod and the two bar against the wall uh, and just move them a little bit so you're guarding some part of the of, of the goal area then uh, this is basically what's known as a standard defense right um, the reverse defense is basically uh, doing the opposite but now you're bringing uh, the goalie the goalie man is, is covering the near side and um, and 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 now the, the the far guy on the two bar is, is guarding uh, this far side. So it's basically so this is a standard defense. This is a reverse defense, right? So I like this. This is a reverse standard. The uh, the next term is a switch. So if you're pl playing any type of defense, anytime you switch your guys, you're basically doing a switch. So you can use that term to describe this, right? It's pretty obvious. You're switching. You're switching positions. Okay, so that's a switch. The uh, the next term is um, it's it's a post defense. A post defense is basically you know you start out from the standard defense and you basically go up against you try to go up against the wall over here, and this is playing a post defense basically. So you can play a post defense like this. The nice thing about this is you know sometimes it can look like uh, you know you're you're giving up a, a big hole over here, for example, and it's easy to try to to get over there because uh, the bumper will hit up against the wall, and uh, and so you know it makes it it makes it easy to for you to try to get to that side without um, overrunning your your you know your defensive um, spot here, uh, in which you know sometimes if you if you try to do that with this guy, you may go past where you want it to go, and you may actually overrun wherever you want it to go. So the nice thing about this is that. You know the limitation of the table when you hit the wall is that um, it's it's taking you to a spot where you know you're gonna make it harder for somebody to hit a dead bar shot. You know that that, that type of uh, a harder uh, option. So uh, the other thing is you can now you can do a reverse post defense, which is now on this side. You know, which you're basically almost uh, trying to force somebody to hit a, a long shot on this side because you you're being greedy with you know this particular side over here and, and then you're, you're trying to basically get over here and I talk, I'll talk about some terms uh, later on as to you know uh, when you're trying to race somebody that's another um, uh, another type of defense but uh, so this is a reverse post this is a standard post defense uh, the next term I want to talk about is uh, bailing bailing out so basically uh, a bail is when you're basically trying to not give up a specific hole and you told yourself that you know you're not going to let somebody score score a straight or maybe a you know a, a pull side over here and you're sitting here and somebody puts a little fake and you move out just just for an instant and somebody goes and scores and you move back and you kind of kick yourself because you said you weren't going to let them score there uh, and you ended up bailing out so when you bail out you know that's that's another term that's commonly used the other one is it's a fake, um, you know. Again, but a, a fake on defense is where you're trying to basically convey that you're going to move out of a hole, but you put a little fake in and you actually don't. So if I'm playing a a defense here, maybe a pull defense, and and I want somebody to look at that straight, and I play a defense which it's looking maybe like I have a little pattern there where I go here and then I I I, I bail out of that hole, then. Uh, next time I go there, rather than bailing out, I'll just put a little fake, right? So if I'm here, 
put a fake and hopefully when you fake they think that you're moving and uh, and they shoot right at your right at your guy so um, okay so those are some common terms that I'll probably use a lot during defensive tutorials and some of those terms also apply to the five bar so uh, just keep that in mind okay the other thing I want to point out is that I typically like to categorize defenses into three different types and um, and that doesn't mean that that's you know the only types of defenses there are it's just the way I kind of like to simplify things um, so one of the defenses is a random defense the next one is a uh, bait defense and the third one is a race defense then after that once you have those three basic uh, building blocks I, I think you know most other defenses are just uh, hybrids or combinations of uh, of random baits you know races um, and and when you do those those types of defenses you typically use you know a lot of these other terms that I talked about like switching and, and doing that and those types of things so those are just kind of like the, the the types that that I like to uh, you know when I describe people about defense that, that, that's that's how I like to put it in those terms so the the race defense is I'm oh, sorry the the random defense basically is trying to move in a pattern uh, which is you know by all practical purposes random where you're covering the different holes that somebody uh, the, the different holes that somebody has to score on and, and you're leaving those open just for small periods of time so if I'm playing a standard defense but I want to do more of a random movement even if I'm playing here let's say somebody's shooting a rollover shot I know that they can go straight maybe they can go you know inside or go to the outside so on on the pull side or the push side then um, if I'm playing a standard defense I want to do uh, a, a, a random standard is is you know I'm, I'm staying in, in in this fashion where I'm not switching my guys or anything I'm just playing like this but I'm randomly you know moving here uh, maybe opening up middles a little bit going you know going here and, and doing this type of movement but I'm really trying to be random um, I'm trying to leave certain holes open for just a little bit of time move away and then go back and, and, and cover those holes okay the next defense is a, a bait defense and what is a bait well the bait again is when <clears throat> you're trying to force somebody to go to a certain hole but you're not you know you're not trying to beat them to the hole you're trying to make it look like you're not aware that you're leaving that hole open and then you know with a very subtle movement just go in and block that especially when you have you know when you get a, when you got a good feel of when the the, the person is going to shoot or pass and uh, that's when you know you, you move to that spot that, that you were leaving open so if I'm for example doing a standard defense and I wait and I want to uh, bait somebody to a certain hole you know I'll do a standard defense like this and you know where I uh, I'm purposely leaving uh, one hole open longer than I normally would if I'm doing a random defense so you know maybe it looks like I'm uh, like like I'm trying to cover everything but it's you know on this standard defense uh, I am leaving the this push side open a lot uh, but and sometimes I go there you know make maybe make trying to make the the, uh, the the forward that's shooting against me think that maybe I'm I'm unaware that I'm leaving that hole open and then at some point uh, when I feel that they're gonna take the shot um, I do move there to guard it or maybe I switch and, and I go and guard that, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not racing there or anything. I'm just, you know, going through my normal motion. And at some point, I go block it. Uh, but essentially, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bait somebody to go to a certain hole, right? I'm not uh, just randomly moving and not dictating where where I want them to shoot. Uh, with the random defense, you're basically um, just hoping that they hit your guy when you move there and that they're not timing you uh you know well enough to 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 see you move from a hole and then they, they hit that you're just you know trying to cover every hole just for a little bits of time and move move away with the bait again is you're leaving a hole and you're hoping that they go there and then before when you anticipate that they're going to shoot that hole then you try to block that the uh the next one is the race defense now the race defense uh, there's another term that I forgot to talk about, but I'll just describe it here. Uh, when you when you talk about a race defense, 
You can do a dead race, which is basically, you know, you just sit, you just basically sit, sit almost still, and you're just waiting for somebody to, you know, to, to go to the hole that you're leaving open. And in most situations, you're, you know, you're making it very, very obvious, right? Where somebody's shooting a pool, for example, um, and you're just basically sitting like this and saying, okay, go, you know, go hit a long, uh, a long hole. And as soon as they go, because maybe they don't have a great, a great pull shot, they don't have very good uh, lateral speed, you just sit there and when they go, you go. So that's a, that's a dead race. Um, you can also race people where you're moving maybe, you know, again, moving just uh, very small and in, in very small intervals. And as soon as you see them go, you can race with maybe a, a post defense or, you know, if somebody is shooting a rollover and you're doing a, a post defense, again, uh, when you do this, is if they go to the pull side, you know, you try to race with this guy. And that's part of, again, why I said that, you know, this post defense is, is sort of a combination of, uh, of essentially, uh, you know, where you're trying to make it look like it's a random, maybe you're trying to bait that hole, and at the same time, you're trying to race. I mean, so you're not necessarily uh, doing uh, only a, a bait where, you know, you're gonna move there, you're, you're, you're gonna race to that point. So it's a combination of, of a lot of these terms that I've talked about. Um, so, okay, so now that we know that, um, now I want to give um, some guidelines or maybe some of my uh, views on what can uh, make you a better defender. Okay, so the first thing is um, you always have to try to force somebody to to hit a certain hole, right? So if you're if you're playing any type of defense, it's you know sometimes you want to take the strategy of saying you know what I think this person can hit a push side if they're shooting a rollover, or they you know they're not that good at at, at shooting straights or shooting middles. So you know you try to take away the the. The, the holes that are easier for that person to shoot, and you basically force somebody to, to, to shoot a certain hole. Okay, so that's, that's one of those strategies uh, that, that, that you can look out for, and sometimes it works you know, to try to force somebody to shoot a certain hole, right? Um, the other one is you don't wanna get caught up in, in a position where you, where you didn't guard anything, right? So the most common uh, place that, where that happens especially uh, uh, when you talk about uh, uh, the goalie, is uh, when you play, and this is another term that I, I didn't talk about, but I'll talk about it here again, is the eye defense, <laughs> which is basically if you switch or you got to a point where you basically ended up uh, guarding the same hole with both of uh, your defenders here. And, uh, and so this is what's known as an eye defense, and that's typically a very bad thing because you know, what's the point of uh, guarding the same hole with both of these guys? You basically made it harder on yourself because there's a lot a lot of goal uh, to be covered. And if you play this eye defense, then most likely you're gonna get scored on. So, um, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna get caught up uh, at some point if you're switching too much, for example, that you switch and, and you play this eye defense. And then at that point, somebody, it didn't matter where they went, if they went to the pull side or the push side, uh, they basically were going to score, so you didn't give yourself a good a good chance to to block uh, a shot. So try not to do this. Uh, again, uh, once I get to the tutorial on the five R, it's it's the same concept on the five where sometimes you can get caught up in the middle where you're not blocking a lane or a wall pass, and and that's not a place where you want to be because then you're not going to be a very effective defender. So. Um, uh, so try not to do that. Uh, the the next um, the next guideline um, or advice that I have is committing to a hole and and try not to bail. So essentially, if you commit, if you say that you know maybe somebody's been scoring um, on you know on this side, you're gonna say you know what I'm not I'm not gonna give you that hole anymore. And you know maybe you you're just very greedy with it. You're making it very obvious that you know, you're gonna let somebody else score over here. You know? And so, so try to commit to that and, and, and don't change your strategy. I mean, sometimes, you know, also when I talked about bailing out, you, know, you, you maybe told yourself that you're not gonna do that and somebody puts a fake and you still bail and they score and then you, again, you kick yourself and you're like, why did I do that? So um, try to commit. Sometimes it's good to commit to, to not letting somebody score uh, on a certain hole or maybe you say, you know what, this, this guy scored. 
Uh, three middles on me this game. I'm not gonna let, let him score middles anymore. So you're gonna be very aware of, you know, at every point that you know there's gonna be somebody guarding the middle, and you're gonna you're gonna force them to score some, you know, to another another hole, not not the one that they've been that they've been uh, scoring on. Um, the other thing that helps a lot is to scout people. Uh, if you have the opportunity, if you're playing a tournament and you look at the chart and you see that you know you play the winner of a match go go watch that match and take a look at how people are uh, are passing how they're shooting and and how the other goalie or how the goalies are defending or how you know the forwards are blocking the five bar uh, and that can give you a lot of information sometimes you can pick up little patterns uh, or uh, you know you can pick up on little tells that that people have when they do a certain shot or pass and so that definitely helps out a lot. The um, uh, and, and again, uh, the other thing is with that is it's uh, when you're scouting, uh, try to look for also for the strengths and see what people are shooting the most. Uh, because most likely when they play you, is they're going to continue that pattern because that's that's probably their strength. Uh, you know, try to count the number of times that they went to the wall versus the number of times they went to the to the lane or the number of times they shot one side or middle or the other side and, and, and try to you know try to come up with something that, that you think it's a pattern with that person or or that they that they did that on a specific type of defense. If they're very good at maybe shooting on a standard defense, maybe you might want to start out, you know, maybe doing a different type of defense, or you might want to start out with the standard and show them certain things and try to bait them to go to a certain hole and then take it away. Um, the um, the other thing that's very important is to understand what are the different shot options uh, for, for, for whatever shot that, that somebody is uh, going to shoot on you or for a pass that they're going to do on the 5 bar. But if we're looking at the goalie, if somebody's shooting a, a pull, then you have to understand you know, what are the different options, right? Straights, middles, and longs. And as the game goes on, especially if you're playing 3 out of 5 games, you really have to be very conscious of what are the options that that, the, that this forward is shooting on you, whether he's um, taking the approach of maybe working more of the inside, going straight, maybe going inside, and once in a while they're going long. You know, you have to pay attention to that. And then uh, tip, uh, typically people continue when, when they have success with something, the, the, the better players will continue to try to exploit that. So you can use that to your advantage. If they keep doing that, maybe you might want to you know, show in those same holes and then try to take those away. Uh, and later on, just, you know, try to force them to go to the spot that they don't really want to go to. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, the other one is uh, you have to adjust and you have to have multiple defenses. So if, if you want to start out with, um, for example, doing a standard defense, the other option here uh, which I didn't talk about is is a shuffle defense, which is basically a standard, but sort of a fast standard defense, right? And a shuffle defense is, you know, you're, you're trying to do this. It's more physical, but um, uh, again, it sometimes it gives people problems because they don't see maybe insides open and you can kind of cheat a little bit where you show this and and maybe you know very subtly just kind of shift over to to the push to the push side so if you're showing push side then you can kind of shift a little bit or you can show pull side and as you're shuffling then you know try to race to that to that spot so the point here is you know try to have different defenses if you're doing a standard and you're getting uh you're getting killed here and they're scoring a lot you know maybe try a reverse or try try a switch defense try a post defense and so it's good to, to, to try out, you know, different strategies, but don't let somebody keep uh, scoring the same thing over and over and over on you. You have to make changes. Um, and, you know, you'll see that the good players do that. They make adjustments. And, and so, you know, you, if you want to get better at blocking, uh, you definitely have to have, uh, you know, one primary defense and then a, a backup primary defense that, that you can go to if, the, if one of those is not working. Um, okay, so you know that that was um, the the general concept that, uh, concepts I wanted to talk about. Uh, I don't I don't want to drag out this video any longer. Uh, I will have subsequent videos, as I mentioned earlier, that will talk about more specifically again on uh, on goalie defense, on five R defense, and defensive zones. 
and I'll also give you um, some footage of actual matches and I'll do a little bit of analysis and tell you you know how some of the concepts that I talked about today apply there and, and what people are doing okay send me any comments uh, thank you